Hello, hi, welcome back everyone. This is Farooq. In the last session, we have seen what are the attributes used in HTML or index file. And also, we learned a little bit about MVC architecture. Today, in this session, we will be learning about component.js file, which plays a major or a very important role in all of the UFI applications. So, what is the use of this component.js file? Component.js file helps you encapsulate all your your assets components or independent and reusable parts of your apps also we can say that component.js file is the first point of contact on the browsers of the index let's get into a demo to show the same example in the last session we had created a demo app to show the attributes used in html file so we will use the same app to continue with our demo to start with this you have to create a component.js file by right clicking on this web content go to new and choose file and write component dot js and please do take care that the c in the component should be capital and say finish so new file has been created with the name called as component.js so we'll start with the code it should be sap.ui.defy that means we are defining a new component or the new file over here open braces and choose square bracket under which we will write the library from where UI component will be extended. So we will write sap slash ui slash core slash ui component. This is the library where our UI component is available. So next for this we will write a function so for the function we will write a variable name so what actually we are doing over here is we took an array and we defined a library in this one and for this particular library we defined into a variable that means I can access this library using this variable so this is we have defined a component.js file now we have defined a UI component now we will try to extend this UI component into our component.js file so anyhow we took into a, a variable so what we'll do is we'll tell return return whatever we have written ui component dot extend it so what we are telling is i have an ui component which is a library of sap code i want to add few more details to that ui component means i want to load my own component dot js file to that particular library so we will tell extend and we will write the name of the library and I told you we will be accessing all our resources using the reference name used for our project the reference name is self so I can access whichever is available in this folder whatever is available in the web content all those files I can access using this reference name so what I'll do I'll write reference name and so under that reference we have component.js file so I'll write under this self or under this reference name I have something called as component no need to write the extension just write the file name that's it So for this we will be having an init function 
means what has to happen when our the application loads the UI component it's an init function in the UI component init we are going to define as prototype and this is my initial point and apply the same and this should be applied to this this means the entire component of your file and we'll pass some arguments now our component.js file is created we will run this app same way right click run as and go to web app preview same I'll open the browser see so as I said earlier the component file is used to encapsulate all your assets right so that means whatever the files or the components or the modules that you want to load onto your applications that can be loaded using this component.js file then we will load this component.js file onto the index file by placing it onto the content so we can achieve it like this new sap.ui.core so under the core library we have component container so for this container we have to provide a name so that name will be our resource root name so whatever the resource root name you are going to give the same name should be provided for this component container then we'll tell that this has to be placed onto the content place at content now if you run this onto the browser we can see this component file onto the browser we'll just refresh the page So ignore this one preload.js just ignore right now so under source tab you can see a component.js file has been appeared so that's it for this session we will see how to load other components or other eva assets onto the component file till then bye bye take care